No one likes bear market, neither you nor me. Bear market is a very dreaded word. In fact, even experienced investors find it very difficult to go through these bear market phase. Psychologically, it is very difficult, right? Therefore, people experience, inexperienced, new investors, everyone hates bear market. But you and I have to go through that if we are long-term investors. In this video, I share with you a few hacks that can help you wade through these very bad phase in a slightly more smoother way. Please do watch the complete video. Let me start by giving you the definition of bear market in general. If the stock or the index that you're tracking falls by over 20% from the highs that it has made, then we are officially in bear market. At this point in time, S&P 500, Dow Jones and many indexes across the world are in bear market as per this definition. India is not. My first hack to you is if possible, you should save more during this period. I know it's very difficult during these high inflation, how do you save more? I know it's also very difficult to put your money where your older money is already showing negative returns. But believe me or not, this particular hack helps you save a lot of money and generate a lot of wealth in the longer run. It's very simple. When there is a sale of clothes or cars or bikes or anything for that matter, we go and rush and buy them because the product that was available at 100 rupees is today available at 20% discount. So we wanted to buy it, now we are buying it for 20% cheaper. Similarly, investing during bear markets is going to be highly productive because the stock that you wanted to buy at, let's say, few hundred rupees is available at few hundred rupees lesser. Why will you not go and buy it? This is essentially the most important way of trading through the bear market. The second hack in my opinion is to withdraw less. Let's assume that you are already retired, you are living on um, you know, regular income. You should try and withdraw less during this period. I know it is very difficult, you may have plans around this. If possible, try to withdraw less during this period. First, try to invest more. Second, try to withdraw less. So the third hack is to rebalance your portfolio. I know everyone thinks that they follow asset allocation, they have an equity debt portfolio. During these times especially, your asset allocation goes in for a big toss. Use rebalancing as an exercise to match up to the asset allocation that you had initially planned for. So for example, let's say you had a 70-30 portfolio, 70% equity, 30% debt. During the bear market, it ended up actually becoming 60% equity and 40% debt. During this very same period, you should use rebalancing as a tool to move away from debt to equity so that it matches up to 70-30 that you had initially planned for. There are two major benefits to it. One, you're bargain hunting. I told you initially that you should buy more. By doing this, you're already bargain hunting. And two, this exercise actually leads to disciplining you. You actually planned for 70-30, rebalancing made sure that you stick to 70-30 and not get psychologically affected by seeing the falling market. Third point, rebalance. Fourth point in my opinion is something not related to investments but more to do with being smart about your taxes. You should actually use this opportunity to book out your loss making funds or stocks. You may ask how is this going to help? I am a long term investor. This helps because the losses that you have incurred during this period which are unrealized by booking have become realized. The biggest benefit of this is that the gains that you have seen in the past or that particular financial year can be adjusted against this particular loss that you have made. The second big advantage to this is that you can actually carry forward your losses for 7 years. So let's assume that you have 100 rupees of loss. You have already utilized 20 rupees this financial year. You can actually carry the remaining 80 for the next 6 years thereby saving some amount of tax that you would have ended up paying on the gains that you're going to see in the future. Isn't this a great time to do it? Please do go through the details of tax loss harvesting before going for this exercise. This particular hack is a lot more psychological. In a bad market, everything falls, even good companies, bad companies and the worst companies. In general, we tend to believe that if the company has fallen 60-70%, it means it's a great bargain. No. During the same time, if you see good quality companies, 
would have actually fallen by 30-40%. In my opinion, during these times, you should exit out of those bad kachara companies as we call it and invest into those quality companies that have also fallen for no reason by about 30-40%. Essentially, you move out of bad stocks and bad mutual funds and get into good stocks or good mutual funds. This is a great time to do it. I know psychologically it is very difficult to book losses but just imagine in this process you are cleansing up your older poorly performing system and getting into something that is a lot more productive. Remember quality always pays in the longer run. Believe it or not you will always see the benefit of investing or giving your money as a shareholder to quality companies lot more than Kachara companies. I hope you like this video. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Good luck. Happy investing.